Hi, 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 mga palanga. Bibo here, your longer vlogger, and welcome to another video! So today guys is going to be another set on vlog and I will be doing makeup for myself so yeah this is going to be another makeup transformation and a makeup tutorial of course so for today's look I'll try to check on my Instagram and this is what I saw this is from Jasmine Beauty Care look at that Let's see this girl looks so pretty she looks so gorgeous the eyes are just amazing. I like how intense the eye makeup is. And it says here that your eye makeup says so much about you and your style. I find this one interesting. So I'm going to recreate this look. I'll try to. I can't promise that I really can do this. But I will try of course. So yeah. Before we start, make sure to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. And of course, for you to be notified of every upload, make sure to hit that bell button beside the subscribe button. So without further ado, let's go to the video. So before applying the foundation, of course, I'm going to use this facial mist. This I got this from Lux Organics. It says deep moisture and youth preserving hydro firming mist with collagen and hyaluronic acid perfect for all skin types so i got this from lost Sans for 219 as far as i can remember so i'm going to spray it all over my face apply it generously this is to moisturize your face of course and let it dry for a while before applying your foundation so i think it's already dry so after putting on the face mist this is what I'm going to do next to apply the foundation. So the foundation that I will be using is from Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And the shade is 310 or the sun beige. So I'm gonna apply it here on my I'm gonna put some here and I will be using a brush to blend this. By the way guys, if you haven't watched my vlog together with the Mega Jaw, where we did a makeup transformation, check that out on my previous vlog. I'm gonna add a little bit. What I like about this foundation is that it's full coverage. It really covers all these imperfections on my face. Look at that. Also, don't forget to put some on your neck. I'm done with my foundation. Next thing that I'll do is to put the concealer. This is from O2O, and I guess this is an Asian product which I ordered from Shopee. I like how it sets on my face. I like to put it here as well. Here. I'm gonna blend this using a sponge. I'm done blending the concealer. Next thing that I'll do is, of course, to set this face with a setting powder. So, the setting powder that I'll be using is from Fashion 21. This is my favorite setting powder. So, this is a loose powder with SPF 50 from Fashion 21 and it's yellow tone, the shade is number one and I like to put that all over my face so I'm done putting the loose powder and I'll just let it sit on my face to make sure it sets well and also I love to put a lighter shade of powder on my under eye here and of course on my T-zone and for that, I will be using the screen powder from Ido I got from Robinsons. There you go. So next thing that I'll do is, of course, to do my contours. So for that one, I will be using Vice Cosmetics Contour. This is what I'll be using, the Vice Cosmetics Aura Contour in the shade Confirm and I like to use an angled brush 
to apply it. I also seen on YouTube that Vice Cosmetics has um, a new set of eyebrow pencils and brow gels and probably I will be purchasing one or if I have advice, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Done with my contour, next thing that I'll do is of course to put my eyebrows on. This is the hardest part. For my eyebrows, I love to use this pomade. You know me guys, whenever I do makeup or whenever I do my eyebrows, I start it by shaping it up. I start here on the lower part. There I put the shape here. And I'm gonna put it here on the top. After putting on your eyebrows, make sure to conceal the lower part to make it look clean. So for that, I will be using this Jazzy Cream Foundation. This is what I'm using as my concealer here. And I'm going to use this brush. You know what guys, every time I do my makeup, it's where I really take so much time doing my eyebrows. After putting on the concealer here in the lower part, I love to put eyebrow gel. And for that, I will be using this Natasha Beauty Brow Mascara, which was given to me by Tracy. Thank you so much for this. In the shade Brilliant Burnette. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows going on to make it look natural. There. Let's see. Also on the other side. So that's my eyebrows. So next thing that I'll do is to, of course, start putting on beautiful eye makeup. So before starting to put all those colors, I love to put this white shade, this cashmere. There you go. I'm gonna start putting on all those colors. So look at that. She has this pinkish eyes with black. Look at that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. See how beautiful it is. I'm gonna use this shade, the bisque.
next shade that I'll be using is this burgundy. I'm gonna put this one. Burgundy. I'm gonna put that here as well. Oh my god, I think I just messed up this video. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to click the play button. I thought I was already filming. <laughs> but anyway, this is how it came out. Look at that. So, I already put the shade burgundy and already started putting the black. Alright, so I'm done putting all those colors. And next thing that I'll do is to put the highlights on the inner part. And for the glitters, I'm gonna put this. One from the uh, Beauty Place palette, the Cashmere. I'm gonna apply that here on the inner bar using my fingertips. Oh, I think the shade of the uh, glitter thing that she used is not white it's kind of pink so for that i'll try to use this maroon glitter thing and apply that on top of this or before applying the liquid eyeliner i'll be using this eyelash curler Curl those eyelashes. There you go. So for the liquid eyeliner, I will be using this Fashion 21 water resistant liquid eyeliner. So I'm done with my liquid eyeliner, I'll just let it dry for a while. Before applying my false eyelashes, my most favorite part, it's already dry. And the next thing that I'll do is to of course put this false eyelashes, this one. This is what I'll be using, this is from Ding Sen. got this from Kiao Kiao Mazinda. Okay, so next thing that I'll do is to course the brush all of these excess powders on my face. Before I forget, I'm going to use this highlighter from Bias Cosmetics in the Street Splendid. Then I'm going to put that here. Alright, there you go. So next thing that I'll do is to put my nose contour and I'll be using this Spice Cosmetics Aura Contour. And of course, I'm gonna put this highlighter here on the tip of my nose. Just use my fingertips. Mm -hmm, that's all I can put right here. There. Next thing that I'll do is to put my blush on. For the blush on, I will be using this Fashion 21. I'm in the shade number 3. It looks kind of pinkish. 
I'm going to use this brush. So done with my blush on, next thing I'll do is to put my lipstick on and the lipstick that she used looks kind of pinkish, I'm gonna follow that one. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same shape but I'm gonna try this out. So this one is from Fashion 21 and I put some highlight here to emphasize the cupid's bow. I'll try to put the lipstick. Mmm, that looks, yeah, it looks a bit the same. So that's my look for today. I'll just blend this um, powder off. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I'll just put my wig on and I'll get back to you. So yeah, this is my look for today. Look at that. Intense dark eyes, pinkish lips and blush, bit full of highlighter. And mind you guys, this earrings that I'm using, this is from RT40 from John Belisana. If you want to purchase one, you can contact him on Facebook. That is RT40 by John Belisana. What do you think about my look today? So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below which part of this look is your favorite. And also, if you're not a part of the family, make sure to click that subscribe button. Yeah, down there. You see that subscribe button? What are you waiting for? Click that! And also, beside that, there is a notification bell for you to be notified whenever you upload. So yeah, that's it for today's look. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!